हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई दिशा मैदानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम हेयर टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन थेविनेंस थ्योरम सो व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ थेविनेंस थ्योरम एक्चुअली थेविनेंस थ्योरम हेल्प अस टू रिड्यूस द कॉम्प्लेक्स सर्किट टू सिंपलर फॉर्म फॉर एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ थेविनेंस थ्योरम it states that thevenin's theorem states that any two terminal dc network can be reduced to an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source and a series register so this is our equivalent thevenin's circuit here are some steps to solve the thevenin's circuit step 1 first of all we have to remove the load register that is rl and make it open terminal step 2 measure the open circuit voltage that is voc and call the voc thevenin's voltage that means open circuit voltage is r actually thevenin's voltage voc is equals to vth now step 3 calculate equivalent resistance by setting all the sources to zero that means if we have voltage source then show, make it to short circuit and if we have current source then make it to open circuit step 4 redraw the thevenin's equivalent circuit with measured open circuit that is voc or we can say vth voltage and open circuit resistance rth in series also connect load resistance our last step number 5 calculate load current that is il il will be equals to voltage vth divided by rth plus rl that means thevenin's resistance plus load resistance these are the steps now we have one example this is our given circuit and we have to reduce this circuit to equivalent thevenin's circuit now step 1 our step 1 is remove the load resistor rl here load resistor is 5 ohm that means reduce it to a open terminal we remove the 5 ohm resistor that is load resistor and make it open terminal like that now step 2 in step 2 we have measure the open circuit voltage now we have to measure the open circuit voltage how we will calculate the open circuit voltage here we can see a current will flow in this circuit okay this is open terminal there will be no current will flow in this circuit so we have current that means i in this circuit will be equals to voltage that is 48 volt is divided by resistor that is 12 plus 4 that means a current of 3 milli ampere will flow in this circuit here will current of 3 milli ampere in this circuit now we can see the 3 milli ampere current will flow in the arm 4 ohm resistor now we can see that a voltage of 12 volt will appear in this arm how 3 into 4 is equals to 12 12 that means a voltage of 12 volt will appear in 4 arm 4 ohm arm resistor now this is an open terminal so the voltage appear across this arm will be equals to voltage across this arm so a 12 volt voltage will appear across 8 ohm resistor also now this is our open circuit voltage voc so here we can see here voc is equals to 12 ohm and open circuit voltage is also called thevenin's voltage so voc is equals to vth is equals to 12 volt so here we can see our thevenin's voltage is 12 volt 
Now, step 3. Calculate equivalent resistance by setting all the sources to 0. Here, we can see we have only one source that is 48 volt voltage source. So, we can reduce voltage source to short circuit like that. We showed the two terminals of this voltage source like that. Now calculate equivalent resistance. Here we can see we have three resistors in that circuit. 12 ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm. Now these 12 and 4 ohm resistors are in parallel and the parallel combination of these two resistors are in series with 8 ohm. So we can calculate equivalent resistance easily. How? Uh, 8 plus 12 is in parallel with 4. Here the calculation comes 11 ohm. So our equivalent resistance is equals to 11 ohm and this is our RTH. This is our Thevenin's resistance. That means Thevenin's resistance becomes 11 ohm. Now the step 4. Redraw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit with measured open circuit voltage VTH and open circuit resistance RTH. Now we have open circuit voltage that is VTH is equals to 12 volt and RTH is equals to 11 ohm. So we can easily redraw the circuit. This is our VTH and this is our RTH and connect them in series and uh, connect the load resistance 5 ohm which we had removed in step 1. 5 ohm. So this is our main Thevenin's equivalent circuit. The step 5, how we will calculate the load current? Load current will be equals to Thevenin's voltage divided by Thevenin's resistance plus load resistance. So we have Thevenin's voltage is equals to 12 divided by Thevenin's resistance is 11 and load resistance is 5. So 12 divided by 11 plus 5 became 0.75 milli ampere. This is our load current in the Thevenin circuit. So here we can see how much easier our calculation becomes. Thank you so much.